Clay Rigsby says he met his future wife, Cam Yang Tran T, during a vacation trip to Vietnam in November 2007. His pet name for her is Ian. A romance bloomed and they were engaged in May 2008. They filed for a K-1 fiancé visa in 2009 and Ian was turned down. Letters from the consulate say officials believed their relationship was, quote, a sham entered into to evade immigration law. After making more trips to Vietnam, Rigsby filed for a visa for her again. And by the time she went back to the consulate for an interview in January of this year, she was pregnant with his child. Because she was pregnant, they said they wanted DNA evidence for proof that I'm the father. Their baby girl was born this past June. Ian went back to the consulate in Vietnam to submit DNA evidence, and Rigsby says they wouldn't even see her. She went there on three different occasions, and she was turned away with our child with her. Meanwhile, the baby became ill with hand, foot, and mouth disease, an epidemic in Vietnam due to unsanitary conditions. In September, the child, just two and a half months old, passed away. Had Ian been given a visa to come to the U.S. when they applied for it, Rigsby says his baby's death could have been prevented. The disease does occur in the U.S., but is rarely fatal due to proper care. My child is dead for what? For what? They could have given my wife a visa in January. She'd be alive today. Finally, last month, after Rigsby went back to Vietnam and both of them were interviewed at the consulate again, Ian got approved for a visa. She arrived in the U.S. a few weeks ago. But for their baby, it's too late. The most senseless death of a child I've ever seen in my life. And, and, the, and the real key is that it could have been avoided. Rigsby says he asked for help from senators, congressmen, the Citizens and Immigration Service, even the FBI. And not one single person I ever spoke to in this government lifted their finger. A spokesperson for the U.S. State Department told me, due to the Privacy Act, they cannot discuss individual cases. In Myrtle Beach, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.